another beer from Franconia, another beer from Bamberg. It's one of the classic beers in town, which beer it is and which brewery. We talk about this in six seconds. <laughs> And welcome to another edition of Probier TV, tasting beers from all around the world. My name is Martin and I'm welcoming you here right from the heart of Vienna from my little man cave. And uh, today I uh, have another beer from my recent trip to Bamberg, which is in Franconia and Bavaria in Germany. And it's one of the classic beers in town. And this beer um, was voted, um, or the brewery of this beer was voted uh, best brewery in the world 2007 from the Men's Journal in the United States. So maybe you have heard about this beer because it gave a lot of popularity to this brewery. It gave a lot of popularity to this beer because it's their classic. It's a Keller beer um, and it's an unfiltered beer. It's the U. And the U is um, the uh, German word for ungespundet, um, which uh, means uh, no fermentation bung was used uh, during production of this beer. So CO2 level was not controlled. Uh, it was like uh, it was after the fermentation, or it is like it was after the fermentation, and which gives this beer uh, a very, very low carbonation level, um, but it makes it super soft, super silky, at least it's supposed to be that way um, on the palate. So yeah, let's see what we're getting here today. Um, the brewery itself uh, was mentioned first in 1670, so quite an old brewery. Uh, and was taken over by Johann Michael in the year 1895. And uh, he brought in uh, the name of the uh, family of today's ownership. Um, it's the Michael family. And um, in 2016, uh, Stephen Michael took over. So he's a fourth generation now with the Michaels uh, running this brewery in Bamberg. It's... Um, uh, uh, bottom f fermenting classic, uh, as I mentioned before, um, and uh, I really love their website. I, I, I think it's also in English, so maybe you can check them out. Uh, I put you the link uh, in, in the comments box. So if you want to have more information about this brewery, um, uh, please check them out and feel free to visit them. They have a nice, nice. I can't say tap room because it's like like a like a. Uh, old traditional Bavarian inn uh, and you can uh, have your beers there um, and uh, yeah especially the U um, from from tap and it tastes a lot uh, like uh, fresh made beer um, so maybe it's coming directly from tank I have no idea but um, the atmosphere is just just amazing there uh, like in the whole city of uh, Bamberg um, this beer has won multiple awards I can't name them all um, and maybe that's because they're continu continuously keeping up with uh, modern technology. Uh, in 2019 until 2021, they uh, got a new automated brew house. They added more um, bright tanks. They added a new keg filler. They added a uh, new filler and uh, st stuff was going on there. So they're still keeping up uh, with uh, modern technology, but they're keeping the old tradition of uh, doing their beer. So, uh, the U ungespundet uh, means without fermentation bung. Um, and uh, yeah, we do a little repo on this beer so you can see the nice foam on top. Even though there is very little carbonation, they have a nice cream white foam on top and a deep golden little copper orange colored uh, hazy beer, which should be with a with a a Keller beer. Let's check the aroma. Oh, it's hoppy, lots of cereals, some yeast, and with some dried fruit, some berries. Oh, let's dive into this one. Cheers. Bready, yeasty, and super soft from the first zip. Um, you're really getting the low carbonation, but it's really paying off. Um, it's um, some cereals. We have uh, honey, but um, only the honey taste. It's not um, overdoing the sweetness of this beer. Uh, a little bit of carbonation, as I mentioned. Super soft, super creamy, and a very uh, present bitterness. Um, also some tartness there. 
some herbal hops, caramel also again bring the aroma of the flavor but not the sweetness. It's not getting sticky sweet. Um, we have some spiciness as well, like a like little bit of pepperness. Very well balanced and some, some, some lemon with a slight acidity in the back, as it should be with a Keller beer. Um, medium body, very, very low carbonation, but a super soft, super silky um, mouthfeel or texture on the palate and a little bit oily maybe as well. And it finishes rather um, herbal. We have some uh, tartness as well uh, in, in the, the aftertaste. Um, super, super drinkable, super soft, some yeast, and again, some uh, citrusy uh, in the aftertaste or the finish of this beer. I really love this one. And if you are in town, please check them out. It's Maßbräu. It's their you, the Ungspundet, uh, or the beer without using a fermentation bung. So um, definitely a must visit when you're in town. And uh, there are so many breweries, but they are definitely one of the uh, top five you should visit when you are in Bamberg. So hope you enjoyed my review. I need to give a rating for this beer and it would be a straight 4.5 for the Mass U from Franconia in Bamberg. That's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do not forget to subscribe and um, yeah, until tomorrow, see you and take care. Cheers. Cheers.